at the beginning, ah, our audiences are always a bit reluctant to participate. It's like, oh my God, do we really have to stand up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then, we'll see. And okay. actually, you know, I'm, I'm noticing that we forgot to distribute a little bit. Never mind. No? We could, we could do it now. Okay. Before we're we going play. to give. No, before we play, we can distribute two One of these. Let's see. We're going to give you. Um, the idea is, I'm going to pass around a box, this box. This one, it has uh, papers, little papers with colors. Choose a color that you like. We'll be using this in a future you activity, but one. choose really one, one that you like. So we get ready for the rings. And this one also. <laughs> and I'm also going to pass around this bunch of papers. Take one of these green uh, little pieces of paper. Take one and pass around. Okay. We need to have three pieces of paper. For so one of these. Yeah. Okay, so this is an icebreaker. There's a whole section of icebreakers in the book. Mm -hmm. uh, we absolutely <coughs> believe that icebreakers are necessary, especially at the beginning of the course, uh, to break the ice, to get to know uh, your students. Uh, also, for the students to know you a bit, okay? Because they create a bond. And we, you have to devote some time to that, okay? There are different kinds of icebreakers. This is one of our favorites, okay, a firm favorite with us, so we play quite often. Um, it's called uh, Snowballs. So, on this sheet of paper, we will ask you to write three facts about you, anonymous, okay? You shouldn't write your name on it. Three facts about you that you would like the others to know, okay? Three things that we find, that we could say, okay? Three things that you would like to share with the rest, but without writing your name, okay? You can go as personal as you want, all right? So Three. you have two minutes, yeah. Remember not to write your name, all right? Yeah, it's anonymous. Right. Three facts or pieces of information about yourself. Once you're done, you can do it. Oh, the paper. Make and a snowball. You have to make it a fake snowball. A fake you snowball. You need to pretend, okay? <laughs> Snow in a pile. You know that dialogue? <coughs> you don't know that dialogue? No, apparently they don't use that any yeah. longer. Do you use, uh, oh. the, that was for studying, do you use uh, that was in Shibushi. Do you still use Shibushi? No. All right. Ready? Okay, so we are going to ask you. I can't say in October without remembering my black teacher and that dialogue. It's amazing. All right. Um, we're going to imagine you, ask you, sorry, to pretend that you are teenage. Teenage students, okay? So put your things away, <coughs> stand up, take your snowball, and you will get to have a snowball fight. <laughs> okay, a snowball fight in October. So the idea is to have a snowball fight, okay? Are you ready? When you, whenever you throw your ball, don't just stay 
there. Get another one from the floor and keep throwing it, okay? And get wild, ask if you wear teenage clothes, alright? Okay. 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 Oh, oh, oh. 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 Australia, who can be so I know who it is. Who can be you. a world of fun? It's me. I can't believe I brought mine. <laughs> 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 All okay, right. so the idea is to guess, okay, of, of course, what is the, the objective of this? To get to know each other. You are having fun, moving, writing, speaking, okay? And the following class, for example, you can ask your students to report back, okay, and say what they remember. So you ask them to pay attention and to really learn about their classmates. So for example, the following class would say, okay, what do you remember about 
anyone. And I would say, I know she has a pet called the Lizard King. I know she loves music. <coughs> and I know she practices, or she likes aerial silk. So you see? So you're using, for example, the third person singular in the simple present, which is so difficult mm -hmm. for students. Okay? Yeah. Even in the same class, at the end of the class, you can ask them to see, you know, to check what they remember. Yes. Yeah. So they have to pay attention mm -hmm. when the others are speaking. Would you play this game with teenagers? Yes. 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 They love it. The yeah. Even game. with adults. With adults. With adults. 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 You see, adults. It, yes. It's yeah, it's adults. a lot of fun. At the but beginning, they are really yeah, it's nothing. Look, it requires okay. music yes. and, it's, and a piece of paper. It's nothing. Just that. How about yeah. little kids? Would you play with kids who cannot write, for example? Kinder. How would you adapt? How would because you change? Drawing. Play. Drawing. 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 Very good. You can give them some prompts or some guidance before you start. Like mm -hmm. they can draw their favorite animal, they can color their favorite color, draw their favorite And food. if they are, for example, in first yeah, cycle and know how to write, you can write on the board some prompts to mm -hmm. help you and to give them ideas. Like with things, with structures or chunks they are familiar with. Like, yeah. I like, I don't like, I can, I can't, I, I have got. Mm -hmm. I am, yeah? It's very simple because they can write something about them. It's <coughs> simple, okay? And then they will have to share. And again, you're practicing writing skills, speaking skills, and they're having fun, okay? Yeah. Did you like it? Good. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank okay. you for participating. Try it. You may sit okay. down. Okay? First class, you have an activity to do on the first class no. of the following school year. No.